Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's 28th of April 2020. So uh, today we're going to discuss uh, what's happening in the markets. Uh, actually, at the moment, uh, the S&P futures is gapping considerably higher. Um, we're watching how um, we're trading around 29.08 at the moment and we're one hour before market opens. Basically, we do see that we have a potential target on the upside to the 200 moving average, which is around 3000. But the question is, will we get there? So far, we've been discussing that we're in the resistance zone, that uh, buyers will be trapped, that we had that channel to the upside that uh, was broken and we didn't get a follow through. Um, we don't want to fight the trend, so that's why we, we keep taking longs in the specific stocks and um, sectors. Uh, that's why still the idea remains that we're in a resistance zone, but the price did not yet confirm uh, that uh, we start to, to come lower. So uh, out of this, we check out the future, the uh, ETFs. Let me take out. So basically, we have the Nasdaq, which is a bit lagging, and of course, it is gapping with the market. But we have two important levels here uh, to be considered. One and two. Um, it is over 250. Uh, comparing to the SPY, which is under. Um, that's probably why the NASDAQ is lagging. But um, other sectors, uh, SMH, lagging a bit, uh, and um, XLK, so quite strong yesterday with the gap. Um, let's let's go to the stocks that we're watching. So one of it is um, let me pull up the chart. Um, HD. It's gapping into the resistance of yesterday's high. Plus we have the 200 moving average. So basically here will be an interesting area 221, 222 to see if we fade the gap or or not. Uh, we are in the resistance zone, so we'll see if the market will help. That would be great. If not, we just cancel the idea. Um, so that's why we recommend to just wait for the first uh, 15 to 20 minutes to see if the market wants higher or not. Uh, Johnson & Johnson, another setup that might be seeing the resistance around 155. It's trading lower at 153 at the moment. Uh, we do see some, uh, some some weakness here as one and two days um, we closed in the red zone. Currently tra trading 153, it means we kind of broke it lower. Uh, some supports around 151.80s, 152, uh, where is the exponential moving and the gap reaction here. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, Next, oh, excuse me. Next, next, next. Uh, some ideas from yesterday that played uh, Facebook, as we discussed. Very nice um, uh, channel gap here. Basically, this one worked well. Um, same idea as HD, which um, it's 200, it's uh, resistance, probably will get the same in HD here today. Um, another few gaps and we're watching BBY, BBBY, which may gap over the 50s, uh, OMI, which can gap over the resistance, and um, also FLR as an idea, but it's still under. Uh, for more for more ideas, trades, setups, uh, join our chat room, and I wish you a great and pleasant trading session.